certainly as you get, get older, I find that I'm much more freer. Uh, you get kind of excited. I think I do feel kind of excited because when I get an idea, I just want to know whether uh, it's going to work. And so that's what makes you keep working. Uh, you want to see the, the result. It's very nourishing. So it's, uh, it's a little bit like other things you do that keep you going, um, like uh, eating and being with friends. And, listening to music, to sustaining. The fact that I want to work so badly makes me do lots of routine things that I really, my back hurts and I'd sooner not. So it keeps me doing things that I have to do in order to be independent and be able to do my work downstairs, which is mostly sitting down. When you're always discovering, I mean, you, you hope to like, keep discovering things you didn't know before. And I think that if I'm discovering something I didn't know before, never thought about, I'm also opening something up for other people. I, I would hope that there are um, other um, artists who discover um, something about clay that they didn't know until they saw something of mine. I love, uh, I love beautiful materials. I just sort of have a reverence for materials. And, and so when I'm working with linen, I, I want the whole thing to just be linen. I work with things that involve processes whose results are not completely predictable. One, the kill, and the other, the plating bath. And uh, so I'm never sure quite how they're going to look. What I'm doing is finding ways in which I can let the, the cracks contribute to the, the imagery of the tile. You um, give yourself a challenge and you see what, what you can do with it. It can apply to your whole life, you know, when you're, you're stuck in some, in some way. What are you going to do? I love working within limitations. You know, the size of the loom will determine how wide the piece could be. The number of harnesses uh, determines the complexity of what you can do. I always start them and end up changing the way I want to do as they get along. So it's eternally, for me, exciting. And I just resent things that keep me from working. There's a very calming effect to weaving. There's a rhythm to it, uh, and your uh, uh, treadling uh, uh, pattern, if it's complicated, uh, soon your feet know exactly how to move, and it becomes sort of like dancing. I do know I don't think about things outside my work. I don't worry about politics and things like that, which I worry about upstairs. You know, I, I, I do don't think of other things. I do have a feeling of peace when I work, that I don't feel pulled in any other direction. And down there, I have a real feeling of doing what I want to do in peace. Yeah, it's very therapeutic. I think of art making as uh, being very close to meditation. When you get so involved in this thing that you're doing, that there is nothing exists but you and it, um, in particular, it, um, you know, all of a sudden, there's one bad thing to it. You look at the clock, you've just lost three hours, four hours. Where did that go? You, you know, uh, but uh, that's the only bad thing I can think of. Yeah.